response video to comments on how YouTube destroyed this channel. There's been a lot of comments and I love it. I love everything that you're saying, most of the stuff. And this video is not something to, to drive some kind of a drama or anything like that. I don't work like that. I love discussions. I love to hear what people think. I love to participate in these discussions. And it's much easier for me to participate in such discussions if I'm doing it through a video format. Because if I type all the comments that I want to type in response, it's going to take me half a day. I, I don't have the time. So this is much easier way to do it. My English is going to be terrible because it's not edited. So I apologize for that. For However, some things that I've learned instantly from reading your comments. First of all, thank you all for the fantastic support. I have probably one of some of the best fans, not fans, I don't like the word fans, viewers, subscribers, I don't know, on YouTube. No, your support here is not just here. Since last couple of years ago, support has been insane. So I really can't say anything, but thank you. Really, thank you. It's incredible. It, it makes me really push forward with the content even more and it drives me to actually do things, you know, to continue doing and not worry about all the other stuff as much. But anyway, two things that I've learned that I want to change on the channel. First, people have said, I did not know that, by the way, that live streams, for some reason, if you leave them on the channel, that they can tank the channel's statistics, analytics, because it says that uh, then viewers are not staying long enough on a video and that it, and it also lower engagement and so on. So it drives down the analytics and it drives the traffic down, which in turn, algorithm doesn't like. So the channel goes to shit. Some, something similar went with my kids channel when I started putting shorts there. It just tanked the channel. Now, the channel hasn't got back up, so maybe it's not nothing to do with that, even with, even with the new type of content and everything else, but we don't know if we don't try. So what I'm gonna do is delete all the live streams before we delete them, before I delete them, I'm gonna download them and then open a new channel where all of those live streams are going to be uploaded and you will be able to watch them there if anyone wants to watch the live streams. I won't I won't have these uh, live streams anymore on this channel. It's a, let's try it out, see what happens. Second thing, there's been a really good uh, suggestion about branding my content. Now you all know me as bastard guy and so on. It's a it's a running joke on the channel, nothing personal. People like that and I've decided I've decided to keep it. However, uh, some say that in first 10 seconds, if you start swearing, and I don't know if bastard is a swear word, maybe to some is, to, to me it isn't, but it's a subjective thing. The only thing that matters is what YouTube is what YouTube thinks. So I'm going to remove bastards from the start and put it in the end. I think that is um, a reasonable, reasonable change that wouldn't af that won't affect many things. Second, actually third thing now, I forgot how to count, is to uh, is to somehow brand the content. Many people have said that someone like Mortismal Gaming or have something like 100% reviews, although that has been debunked many times, it doesn't matter. He needs to do what he needs to do to get the views and I think that's a great thing because he obviously is a very good reviewer. I haven't watched his reviews, but obviously people love him because of the views, they wouldn't stay otherwise. Doesn't matter if 100% is correct or not, who gives a shit. He's playing the YouTube game and he's playing a fantastic YouTube game, that's why he's so successful. He knows how to do it, I don't. That's one of that's part of the problem. I don't want to be an algorithm guy. I don't want to be. I don't want to even worry about those things, but it seems like we, we can't go without it. So someone has suggested. A lot of people have suggested maybe you need to brand your reviews in that way. Like he has hundred percent. You should also have something very unique. Now the first thing that came to mind was something like bastards reviews, reviews from a bastard, bastard steak, or so on. But that's also a swear word, so I don't think that YouTube would like that because YouTube is a uh, Nancy. So I really don't want that. Let's try to keep this as. I mean, I want that, but I don't want to be dragged down even further. Even if you know, you always think it can't get worse, but then it can. So. I don't want to risk that. Uh, so um, I had another idea. Since I have a ramblings of a madman series, 
that series is going to continue. I love doing that and I love the communication uh, because I learn a lot of things from your comments on this on these types of videos. I'm a guy that likes to discuss things. You already you probably figured that one out. I'm not afraid of any topic. I'm not afraid of being wrong. I'm not afraid of being my mind opened. So instead of using Bastard, what do you guys think about something like um, Madman Reviews? Madman Take? Something like, something in terms, of, something that would use the phrase Madman. That could be the new, uh, even though I'm not a mad person at all, but look. Maybe that could be something that could, uh, that could be relatively mild. YouTube would like it. And it would have also correlation to the Ramblings of a Madman series. And also I would add a different logo on the reviews to have the typical branding that, you know, would uh, relate to the, to, to the content, to the reviews, to the Madman brand. Tell me what you think and tell me your ideas in the comment section. I would love to hear what you think and the word and different takes on how would we, uh, how could, how could I name those Mad Men reviews, or maybe something else? But I would, I definitely would like Mad Men because it relates to the Remnants of a Mad Men series. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, again, thank you very much for the support. I'm not gonna spend much time reading the. Uh, reading comments like this, sorry to hear that, mate, hope everything will be better, stay safe. I appreciate these comments so much, but there's nothing for me to discuss in those types of comments. That just shows how much of a support I have and I love it. I can't thank you all enough. Here I'm going to try uh, more to focus on the comments that are saying uh, either constructive criticism, their own take on the situation, um, anything really that's not just Hope for better times, hope this, thank you for everything, sorry to hear all those things. I'm not just going to waste my time on because this video is going to be long anyway. So I hope that that we uh, that we are in agreement there. Let's con let's start. So these are I'm going to go from the bottom. See these types of comments. I mean, generally, I feel bad for people as well because that, <laughs> that they need to watch these types of videos. Uh, I'm only a few minutes into this, so I don't know the whole story other than what you talk about in past videos. And I will say more when I finish the video. Until then, anything they do that negatively impact their channel and, and others like it is ridiculous and should be unacceptable. Yeah, I'm not the only one. Definitely not the only one. We, thank you, man. Appreciate it. I cannot understand why the white colored bell for full notifications even exists. Uploads on your channel and many others do not even show up in my notifications. This is not just a problem of mine. I've seen many other users experiencing the same issue. Whatever the algorithm does not want to show, it won't show and it won't even respect the settings you chose. And believe me, I have a lot of time to burn and I check all my YouTube notifications. I actually agree with that comment. W what the hell is the point of white colored bell for full notifications? This isn't Discord. You need to be subscribed to channels you want to be subscribed to and you, you need to see content from those from the channel. Simple as that. This definitely explains why some other content creators put click, uh, clickbait tags like is insane in every video. They are trying to fit in so that YouTube doesn't suppress them. Also, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't value broad video game reviews at all. Most of my time on video game channels is looking at guides and how to's. For example, I found your channel to do outward guides years ago. Outward is not a game I particularly like. It's, it's a decent survival game, but I'm not a fan of that genre. So here's the thing that I'm going to repeat many times during this video. Everyone that's on my channel is for some reason. Before it was only guides, but there were guides for only a specific game. There may be another game that is similar to that other game, to the first game. So that's how, that's how it always worked. Now I have reviews. Now I have Ramblings of a Mad Men series. I do different things. Everyone is here for something. And that is fine, but that has always been the case. Someone has chose to watch something else. There, there is nothing wrong with that. But now the situation has changed, even, even despite the fact that that has been happening for even since I was at my most successful. Nothing changed in that regard. 
about the demographics of the of my channel it's simply people watch what they watch i switch from game to game and people people want to see what i either think or what i do guys for for a specific game that they are interested in all good nothing but ba uh, clickbait taglines yeah unfortunately people need to need to fight uh, fight that uh, to uh, fight the algorithm by putting insane clickbait and all that shit I don't like to do that. I started doing that a little bit, but not in clickbaity. I try to maybe create builds with a different tagline. For example, Elden Ring build, throwing blade is amazing, something like that, which it is really, if you know how to use it, it's really an amazing weapon, nothing wrong there, not, not a clickbait. So maybe things like that, but I really don't like to do that. I just like to put in a title, this is it, boom. If you wanna watch it, watch it, if not, not. Actively avoid even mouse over any of those because then those videos will be added to your history and integrated into your browsing algorithm. Yeah, that sucks, man. That That's true and that sucks how YouTube works today. What I've learned from what comes through my notifications and what doesn't is that a successful YouTuber has to completely abandon ideals like shame, ethics, creativity and standards. They, res they research what works on the algorithm and make use of it with zero qualms. Now, I don't know how others work. I, I watch very few... Uh, channels maybe not even channels i just watch, watch this, some type of a content that i like so i don't know how they do things but i a lot of people i would say on youtube a lot of youtubers do this there's no reason not to now if you ha if you work like that the benefit is you're gonna get more ex more exposure Downside is you're never going to get as fantastic fans, not fans, sorry, as fantastic viewers and uh, subscribers as I have. So there's always upside and downside. They know what words to use in the title, how long the video should be, what words they shouldn't send, what words they should. Say. Yeah, that's all true. All true. Absolutely all true. Yeah, Google is Google. YouTube even hides videos from subscribers. So like I noticed plenty of times when some uploads video and I'm sub to him, but video will not show on my sub feed. But it sucks that good content gets shadow banned and buried in mainstream agenda channel spam. Uh, okay, just going to be honest here. I do like some of your videos and on some games to help with certain areas or build ideas. I think some of the problems you have are lots of complaining videos about politics and stuff like that. No one wants to listen to a dude complain on how their views on the world are better than others. Uh, thing is that I have reasons to complain and that there's difference between complaining and critical thinking I would consider myself not a complainer, but a critical thinker because everything I complain about I Have basis for it I don't complain about nothing That's the reason for example Look at the reviews well in any reviews have I complained about What is prominent problem today wokeness? instilled into the games into at least the games that i played i don't know the other games uh when was that not true and when did i say that my world views are better i never said that my world views are fair whether you think that's better or not that's on you i don't have anything to do with that but, but i've learned a lot in my life went through a lot of shit more than most and it's gonna get even worse so I've, I've learned a lot of stuff and I know that I can think, uh, help people in uh, certain ways on how to approach life in a, maybe a different way that, uh, that they aren't so constantly emotionally chained to ideas and to, to stuff that isn't helping them in life. So that, that's also something I've learned how to do recently. And if I can present that good, you don't have to listen to it. That's why you can choose what to watch, right? That's your prerogative. But this is a gaming channel. It's always going to be about games and politics have entered games. So there is something to complain and criticize in terms of politics entering games. I think we can all agree on that. So there you go. Your sound quality is very bad lately. I can barely hear you with my volume at max. I have no issue with all other videos. Yeah, I don't really understand this issue. To be honest, I've seen this on a couple of people. A couple of people I mentioned it. Now, I did, however, fuck up one thing. Uh, I have updated Windows and then it reset my microphone volume. I've changed it afterwards. But yeah, for the time being, the volume was lower about 25%. But can't hear me. I honestly have trouble believing that 
because I when I put my video, even though I hate watching my videos, just to see them on the mobile phone or anything else, it sounds, I just turn the volume up and I can hear it fine. I don't know. Maybe different devices have different volume ranges. I don't know. But it should be fixed now, hopefully. But thank you for the feedback. I want this feedback always. always. When something is fucked, especially from technical standpoint, people just nuke in the comment section, say, this is not, you fucked up this, you need to change this. I'm not going to be offended. You're right. If my volume, my volume was lower, to, do, to what degree it depends simply on some, depends on the person watching. But it was lower. A lot of the people have said that and this guy is right. This is a YouTube as a whole thing, but you need to pump out videos faster and be the first. If you make a build video, someone already did it five days ago, no one is going to care. Uh, see, the problem with this is that I was never first. No matter at what point was I, uh, at what point on my in my YouTube career, I was never first. Never. I always started game on the release date and started from there and started going from there. And that was never an issue up until now and there's another issue how do I get early keys I can't get early keys if I had early keys this channel would explode it would have millions of no nah, not millions but let's say 200,000 subscribers and all that it would get it would be if I wouldn't have to worry I wouldn't be doing videos like this but the problem is when you enter uh, when you enter the cycle of people that get keys which is that cycle is getting uh, wider and wider then you can really pump your content up and you can pump the channel up I never had it I've had that privilege for a couple of games and that's about it and I've used it maximally and I would always use it if I had that chance that simply is I wouldn't pass on that opportunity but the problem is that there's more and more content creators. There's more and more people that get early view, early keys, either by being in a region where you purchase a physical copy, then the physical copy to arrive on your address at release date. It, it's gonna then um, it's gonna then be sent ve sent very early. For example, Sony games can arrive to a couple of weeks early in big countries, right? Popular countries. In Croatia, where I live. Hmm. And I will have to pay inflated price for it. So there's no point in doing that. That's one thing. Another thing is people can constantly overlap you with videos. New people, smaller channels, because they can uh, start there early. You guys have no clue how big it is if you can start the game early. I can't even begin to describe. It's major. It's a major thing. So once you're out of that loop, once you don't get keys, it's very difficult to fight people that do have keys. And there's more and more people that are getting the keys. But to your point, I was never first. I was never first at anything. I just, I always had a specific way of covering games. And I'm going to continue doing that, but not for every game. Which is also a topic to discuss uh later because i've saw i've seen a comment about the content too a lot of comments a lot of phenomenal comments and that's why 70 percent of content on youtube is so bad clickbait gets rewarded people with individual individual thinking get hidden and people promote that by the way sound is good thank you you did though by implication uh how else should one interpret you when you make the claim that you go by objective measures when you review games that applies the people who find other reviews more to their liking perhaps because the metrics that are important to them are the metrics you would say are not objective or actually not caring about what is truly important i believe you should take your advice and keep your politics out of this um you did though by implication but that's your subjective version of what an implication is how else should one interpret you when you make the claim that you go by objective measures when you review games i say this it's a twofold thing i objectively look at the game's mechanics you can objectively look at the game's mechanics but that's not a skill anyone can, a lot of people can do that but they always say that the final score is subjective Simple as that. That implies that people who find other reviewers more to their liking, perhaps because the metrics that are important to them are the metrics you would say are not objective. What? 
uh, sorry, I'm trying to understand it. That implies that people who find other reviewers more to their liking, perhaps because the metrics that are important to them are the metrics you would say are not objective, are actually not caring about what is truly important. To me, the only thing that the important is the game's quality. That's it. Nothing more. I don't care what you think about the game. I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you don't like it. That's not my thing. It's a subjective thing if you like or not. Don't like a game or if, or like some things or don't like some things. You can like bad things in games and you cannot like good things in games. Liking, not liking is a subjective thing. But you can objectively measure a lot of stuff in games. How it works, how it doesn't work. For example, we can all agree that, I mean... I'm hoping that we can all agree on that because that's quite the I can't I don't know what would be the best example of what would be a better example of that Elden Ring combat the for Dark well, Dark Souls combat great combat terrible backstab animations terrible finishing animations meaning from the critical hit after you parry and so on can we agree on that right but the combat is great or even good you choose good great amazing maybe not amazing but good or great right it's there now it's just too subjective the subjective part of it is um is good or bad whether you think it whether you think it's good or bad that that ties into preferences and so on i believe you should have taken your own advice and kept your politics out of this uh what politics That I don't understand. But the only thing that is important that you should care for about games is the quality. Because if you care about games quality, then the whole then the whole industry goes up in quality. And if you if you support quality products, not political products, unless it's a specifically political game, in that case, all right. Then you are making the whole uh, whole situation better. If you care about things that aren't important in games like having an ideology inserted into a game then what can i tell you you are caring about the wrong thing and that is no no different way of saying that video games are video games the only thing that matters for video games is to have quality now whether you like the game or not that's up to you a lot of people liked hellpoint even though it wasn't a particularly good game that's the liking part that is, that's the subjective part There's a difference. You can always be objective about things that can be objective. Mechanics of the games, you can be objective about that. How you like them is a completely other, other discussion. He has every right to complain about the degenerate walk agenda being pushed on us. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to change that because I'm right here. There's no doubt about it. The games that I've covered that have a walk agenda, I've covered it. And those games, look at what's happening now. Look at how many companies can't even sell games because of the Vogue agenda. Look at the new games like Concord, like Dustborn. Well, actually, Dustborn might be a, uh, an ironic take or sarc yeah, ironic take on the Vox. I don't know about that game. I've heard interesting things about it and some not so interesting things. So... Yeah, it's it's not a good thing to push politics into games. I didn't. I'm, I'm not the one that pushed it. I'm one that wants it out of it. And many other people are, unless the game is police specifically politically, in, uh, politically focused game. There are politics simulators and things like that. That's absolutely fine. That's why those games should exist. But ideology from Sweet Baby Incorporated, Vanguard, BlackRock. And other studio and other studios and investors should not be in gaming. It's a, it's a global thing that's happening, and I don't want to get into it here, but there's a reason for it. It's a very deep reason, and it's um, the goal is quite big one. So I'm not gonna get into that because well, even I know when to shut up. <laughs> but yeah, mate, I absolutely disagree with you there. I I don't imply anything. I just imply that people should care about quality more than anything else. And that's that's the that's the thing that I that should be a pretty much a standard, right? You want to buy quality products. If you want to buy politically uh, or products you are emotionally attached to through some kind of an ideology, then they got you. You are brainwashed. That's how things work. 
that's what they want to do that's by the way that's one of the things i will talk about this that's one of the things they want to do they want to more and more put uh, ideology and political bullshit be it left or right i'm not leftist or i'm not anything they all suck left and right all right left right center up and down they all suck they work for the same purpose and that's for their own behind all right not for you they don't give a fuck about you what was i gonna say oh yeah why they want to insert po politics into into uh gaming into products into even toothbrushes or whatever why gillette went is went down the political path as well why because they want to catch you catch you through an emotional connection so that you get attached to an idea that's why it's called ideology because it's just an idea and therefore you will support that product based on the ideology behind it based on the politics behind it and not because of the quality of the product itself so they can sell you a shit product but if you want to support the brand if you want to be emotionally attached to the brand they got you they got you they will get you every single time that's a cheap way of manufacturing new customers and actually a cheap way of creating new customers and manufact and uh, lowering manufacturing costs try to think about that a little bit being attached to a video game uh, is a good thing but not uh, being attached to politics inside a video game and that, that that should be a factor to for you to buy the game because then they can let things go on the side and anyway, we'll talk too much about this anyway let's go but I, i'm sure you can understand that it's not that difficult so one of the fantastic comments that that uh, that, uh, that made me aware about the, the live streams is this one so anyway we talked about it this is also a good idea i'm not sure if this could help but i noticed some brazilian content creators are looking sorry are looking full vods to members only and later on posting shorts and other edited videos as cuts taken from those vods to the public ah okay yeah, i'm not a streamer people i just stream for the fun of it and i love to communicate with you bastards it's always fun on streams when there's chat going humor is phenomenal we talk about everything it's brilliant it's not for everyone because we talk about everything and i get it that's your prerogative that's your right but just remember if you're offended by anything that doesn't mean you're right you're just offended that's all it sucks but what can you think of yourself if you put merch up in donations and people buy donate go for it if you need to have other jobs to make a living do that yeah i'm doing working on that because i have to i don't wanna i really don't want to i wanted this to be my primary job as it always was and focus on it because i have because i think i have really good things to say and and i have a fair approach to games and fair approach to life and fair approach to everything I'm not saying I'm good. I'm not saying I'm bad. I'm not saying I'm mediocre. I'm saying I'm fair. That's it. And I, no one can take that away from me. From my point of view, I want you to continue to, to continue to do your guides on the games that I play. But you must always think of yourself what is best for your family and do that. If I search how YouTube destroyed this channel on YouTube, I won't even find you. Yeah, that's mostly a subscriber thing. But even, but even uh, this video has terrible views. Which is a strange thing. I really thought this video would get more views because it's a strongly worded video and it uh, can relate to a lot of people. Well, I'm not going anywhere, mate. I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> I'm not going away. I discovered the channel since the minute and general bill. Uh, best of luck. Thank you, man. Yeah, and you're not people. Uh, let me just. Uh, Cover one thing. I discovered your channel since the minute original since and enjoy build and test videos. Best of luck to you, man. I don't give any money because I don't have any to spare. But I'll keep watching your videos as long as you keep making them. People, you are not here to you that's not your job. I love the fact that you would donate. You donated so much through to me over the years. Honestly, way more than I deserve. Way more. That's the support that I get from being me. And people that can appreciate the fair approach that I provide. And the guides that help people. That's the primary thing. It always was. My only, my goal, I started RPG Division because no one else was doing proper guides. Everyone else was doing guides for a single thing. You can That you can make a guide, 30 second guide, they make 10 minute video. Pissed me off. So I said, this is going to be a thing that I'm going to do. Because I want to have phenomenal channel regarding guides to help people out. 
and also to give them the the crux of things that they want to look for not to go soon through an elaborate scheme to have a 20 minute video they would then have to scroll 15 minutes to find to find the, the content they are actually searching for in that video so i appreciate the money i appreciate all of that but that's not your job right we can be on it that's just an additional thing that if people want to support but i would never have to rely on that working on youtube is a job you're being paid for it for that job and you should be paid fairly for the things that you do that's it i'm not i'm not a greedy guy really, really i'm not i'm a very modest person in terms of the the means that i need to survive it's just that after all of this time spent after having three channels screwed by youtube and seeing others succeed where i can't it's kind of start start starts to get to you but thankfully you bastards are here but as i said sorry but it's uh, as i said it's not your job to 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 finance me and i and you have done a wonderful job that i have to say at financing me because you guys bought this monitor that i'm looking at bought the gpu and many things before that helped when i needed it and shit, man i can't believe that anyone would donate anything but fuck man it's it's incredible sometimes it makes me cry how great of support I have. You always well, we hear content creators complain about how YouTube is killing their channel, but you actually took the time to break it all down and show some evidence. Yeah, I wouldn't do the video otherwise. Kudos to you for that, but I hate that you're going through this. I had no idea that the US was taxing foreign content creators so much. Yeah, it depends on the country. I mean, Croatia, so, so 30% of views that are coming from USA, and those are my most that's my that's my highest viewing demographic uh is being taxed so in short i, I lose about 25 percent each month in total not just from that in total but i now found a, a mcn that i still have to confirm that it works that has has a way to avoid all of that so if that happens i can reinstate memberships super chats a lot of other stuff because i would have i would be able to avoid that tax that would be fantastic that would really be fantastic i just have to have some time with the new network to confirm it seems like great guy seems like great network to be at but <laughs> you know when it sounds too good to be true i've jumped too much by being uh, i've jumped many times in life into things being naive and thinking the best about others and it cost me a lot so never understood the need of youtube and governments to punish legit passionate creators so, look this is not that they are targeting me mate let's not even i don't think no one is targeting me there's an algorithm at place an algorithm does its own thing simple as that now shadow banning i don't know if that's the case here but it might be but i agree force them out and that leaves nothing on the side but soulless drivel of no value whatsoever that's true that's when you do i mean that's when you remove people that actually have a know how to critically think how to how to approach subjects how to analyze subjects and so on then, then you lose then you have point as you said pointless dribble some people want that that's fair that's why there are so many channels on youtube you can watch what you like i might not comment over in any video but i watch rock shader i've been avoiding yeah all right thank you mate all good you are always there patrick i love your communication with you on, on the streams I have now watched 24 minutes of this 21. I have a burning question. Please don't read too deep into it. No, not at all. Always ask. I'm wondering if there is a chance that uh, there are technical issues involved. Hold on. Hear me for a moment, please. Yeah, of course. There might be. There might be. As someone has stated, one of the technical issues is that uh, is that playlisting, a live stream playlisting, that's a technical issue. That shouldn't be that should be something that algorithm can just remove or maybe account for that's a technical issue i wonder this because through the years and most especially the last two years i randomly hear youtube creators say that something is drastically wrong suddenly with their channel if you're interested i can give you one such creator name and what he asked his viewers to do for him sure i'm all for that information why not i'm a fan of youtube creators but not of you not of youtube 
same here. They suck, period. But have you considered contracting them to see if you get a good person to speak with you about what is happening? No, they're not going to do anything, mate. I've had plenty of contacts with YouTube, so I know that in this regard, hmm. Lastly, I'll add that I've only occasionally watched your videos and seen up as a suggestion. I respect you, I respect you and I hope you get to help your work has earned. Good luck, follow the story. Thanks, Merit, appreciate it. Yes, I'm staying, don't worry. I'm really getting pissed off because the YouTube algorithm are flooding my recommended content with more garbage and less new content from my subscriptions. Yes, for me as well. The recommendations are 90% media garbage, really. True. That's one of the things that happened with YouTube in the last couple of years. And that's the, if you guys remember that, and girls, if all of you persons peoples can remember this but last couple of years actually i don't know when when that when that was they started introducing more and more talk shows and more and more that type of garbage like jimmy fallon jimmy kimmel jesus christ man that's that's comedy on the level of kevin hart and that's not a good thing meaning stand-up comedy so it's uh they started to move towards tv content youtube was always the alternative but now it's introducing more and more tv content even as you said media garbage content which is also something that's going to be mentioned in the comments later algorithms and the elections and the politics and all that that's what i want they want drama they want engagement because engagement drives the algorithm up and then that's where they want to put their ads on it's a strange thing considering how how they can censor a lot of things that they want political content right very strange i don't know what to think of it to be honest for me the situation improves when i go through my front page and select don't show videos from this channel or not interested for most of these videos yeah that's a good suggestion i was the type of person that would never watch shorts but now it seems like shorts are being showed down shoved down shoved down by Jesus shoved down my throat and frankly I have given in the simplicity of being able to just scroll up and something that does not interest me is addicting I started to watch your videos when Divinity 2 and fell in love with the content and builds but for what it's worth thank you for all the videos you've put up so thank you mate appreciate the comments I love these things because uh, to to understand how other people are experiencing YouTube I don't know how that is happening because I don't really watch much of YouTube anyway these days Mo mainly because of the recommended bullshit too I think I remember near a few YouTubers YouTuber doing game guides. Yeah, yeah. More YouTubers is also a, fa a factor, definitely. True, I also did not get any notifications for a long time. I had to search for you not go switch to more review based content and up the frequency of those instead. I would love that, mate. But to do that and to be effective, look at what happened with Black Meat Wukong and Space Marine 2 reviews. Black Meat Wukong and Space Marine 2, by the way, are the games I respect because they 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 removed themselves from Woke Agenda and from in inserting politics into games i respect that i respect that a lot they went with quality and they got quality uh, now when it comes to the reviews and the f upping the frequency problem of doing a review at least how i do things is that i have to beat the game first otherwise you lose a lot if you don't beat the game sometimes i did reviews based on not beating the game and i had some time to actually not i had some parts of the game that i haven't finished haven't really figured out to the end of the story but i could do a review of the like like um, i think jagged alliance 3 that was one of the examples but i knew where the game was going and i know i've played jagged alliance 2 so i know that story is kind of similar in that regard a little bit so so it's very difficult to be uh, to be into reviews unless you get them early if you get them early no problem i would be able to do guides and reviews and have it all on the release date not all but a lot of it not a problem whatsoever if i had i need one chance and that chance might be kingdom come deliverance too i might have i have a good connection with uh, warhorse studios and I'm hoping that uh, that it's gonna pay off. If I get that game early, things will change. They have to. But that's a rare example of a possible review. For example, now I have a metaphor, Re Fantasio, that I can't get a key for, and I don't have the money for, and frankly, I don't even have the time for. 
because I have pl- I'm playing uh, Guild Saga. I have that through promotion. Thank fuck one of one promotion in the last half a year, or maybe not second. I don't know. Saves me a lot. Thankfully, those are fantastic things when it happens. It's rare, but it happens at times. Then I have Rogue Trader DLC. I have Visions of Mana still to try. I have agreed for to early access. There's so many games to try and to play and to focus on that I just there's no time, people. There's no time. You know how much time it takes to beat a game. I'm sure you guys know. You're you all you all are gamers. Now imagine having to beat the game and do guide sport. That's double or or triple the time invested. I would love to do that. I would love to become a review-based content channel it would save me time on doing the, the guides even though i would do guides occasionally but it's not realistic upping the frequency of those is not realistic i don't have the i don't have if i had the keys early for games then yeah i would be able to up the frequency but like this it's it's not realistic mate i was one st- a step ahead of youtube deleted my channel <laughs> They've done something with the algorithm around the same time they started doubling down on banning ad blockers. I search a subject or person, the first videos are clickbait drama videos. Okay, in the past, that just means refine my search query. Sub, uh, search subject or person that, and include what I'm looking for specifically. Except now, the same clickbait drama videos show up at the top, even though the topics have nothing to do with my refined search query. Query? Uh, what's worse, there never is a listing for what I'm specifically looking for. Instead, it goes for, from the drama clickbait videos to completely unrelated content from cor- content creators I've never heard of. And then the feed just abruptly stops and then nothing else is listed to view. Okay, that's very, very deep uh, analysis, mate. I like that. Thank you for, for uh, typing the comment. They're censoring a ton of content, unless you know the exact title of the video you're looking for. They're trying to do away with, all, with the old YouTube. You can't even sort by oldest anymore. It only lets you go a year back. Uh, yeah, that's why I can't see my old content. They're also trying to centralize where people get content from by promoting only select content creators in the algorithm. This is how co- 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 this is how corporations have approached the internet as a whole and it's been fairly effective. There used to be dozens of forums full of hobbies when you search something. Now it's the same five AI-generated websites and a few four-year-old Reddit threads. Unfortunate. Damn, man, that's that's a deep post. Coincidentally, most of the videos get that highlighted by YouTube have stronger meaning words. I probably only get notification for this because of the word destroyed. Yep, the algorithm very clearly pushes alarmist content. If I click on a video that is political or a rage bait, I have to spend the next 10 minutes going through my recommended checking, not interested and don't recommend channel. Damn, man. When people... It's a sad state of affairs for YouTube that they went down this road. It's fucking disgusting what it was before and what it is now. I re... No wonder people don't watch my channel, don't watch other channels. They can't get to it. Or they are just fucking exhausted emotionally from YouTube doing this. If I click, that's why I, one of the reasons why I, I don't watch it anymore. YouTube is going to die. What then? What the fuck do we do then? If I click on a benign video from a content creator I've not viewed before, the change to my recommended feed is not even perceivable. Even, the, even if they're covering a subject, I don't normally engage in on YouTube. I read a report that something like 40% of the internet traffic last year was bots. Ooh, there's this entire network of scripts and programs working 24-7 to manipulate algorithms, but the current people working at Google are absolute morons, taking us back to where we were before the internet existed. Shit, man, I really appreciate this comment. I think this can open up, uh, open eyes of a lot of people how things work. Yeah, again, sound is not good. I fixed it, hoping that it's better now. Maybe keep uh, one, maybe two games instead of jumping on every hype train. That might be a good point. I do tend to jump against to games, but there's a reason for it. If w- why do you think I jump from a game to game? Because the views start dropping significantly on a game that I was already covering. A couple of games that I really kept doing were like something like I think uh, Divinity Original Sin and Neo. Those are the most successful ones, but those are the most successful ones because I saw that they were su- as successful as they were and continue doing content for it. But if the content doesn't have views anymore, what's the point of pushing things out? Then again, what's the point of this whole year? Because I got no views anywhere. So, but I get what you're trying to say. But hype is not something I care for a lot, but there are popular games. 
that popular RPGs that are that it would be smart to cover and not to uh, not to avoid, especially in a situation which I always was not always, but most of the times I was struggling in terms of not struggling but needing to keep the money income up, money income right and that's the best thing you can do is find a popular crpg or an rpg cover it through guides like I always do and that's it hope you bounce back selling merchant donations shouldn't be necessary i agree the algorithm is like the metrics and you might ask yourself why you didn't take the blue pill but you ain't going to best of luck brother with future content thank you mate uh, youtube is a hobby not a job nobody should be getting paid by besides through donations youtube was ruined when everybody tried making the job over a decade ago this is what I replied. Let me let me kill this discussion immediately for anyone thinking like that. First of all, job and work are different things. If you can't put if you can't differentiate from those, then I don't know what to tell you. Second, job is anything you provide a service for that you're getting paid for. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be a babysitter, it can be a street cleaner, it can be a house cleaner, it can be it can be person packing your bags at the grocery store. If they are providing a service, they are doing a job because they are getting paid for it, period. That's the only definition of a job, whether what you think is a job, what you consider it, that there's only certain types of jobs that are that are uh, that are worthy of classifying as a job i could go into that and why that type of thinking has been going on from the totalitaristic regimes about work and over and over oh, sorry overworking through jobs and so on but i'm not going to get into it but just by the definition job is is a service you're getting paid for i'm doing a service here and i should get paid for for it by youtube which i am i'm just not getting paid enough based on the type of the thing that i'm doing and the algorithm is the problem and uh, shadow banning might be the problem too so i'm talking about it look uh, kyle you cover a lot of varied games oh i love this guy evgeny you cover a lot of varied games while focusing on actual content be that guides or reviews as opposed to focusing on the entertainment side of the content mainly i'm not an entertainer i can't be something i'm not this leads to a situation where subs aren't exactly interested in all of your videos all the time, just some of them. Also not a problem. That was the case all the time, when I was the most successful, when I was the least successful. How likely is that YouTube looks at the amount of views you got from subs and decides not to learn them of new videos, at least not a high priority among other subscriptions? Could be. Yeah, I think you're right about that. That There's definitely a factor of not, a lot, not showing to subs subscribers. But the subscribers are not the only issue, as I said. There's also a YouTube search engine that's been bombing my videos ever for a long time now. And wh why is that the case? Well, that's the type of... A, that's why I'm trying to, uh, from your comments, also discern what the hell is going on, right? Whether it's truly a technical issue, whether it's shadow banning, whether it, it's both, or whether it's something else... Or all of it, so that's why I love these types of uh, con these types of uh, comments. Keep at it, mate. I want to hear these things. It, it opens my mind to think of the solutions and to think, oh shit, maybe some of the things people are saying are right, and a lot of things you are saying is right. This leads to a situation where subs aren't exactly. Yeah, there, there isn't a sub I think that's interested in all of my content currently, and I don't want them to be. Why would they? Don't force yourself to watch things you don't want to watch. It sucks that you're having to deal with this. I think a lot of other content creators with similar struggles are able to get a bit of help from keeping on things like memberships and super chats. But I completely understand not wanting to continue being stolen from by this government. Some video is not stealing from well, they're stealing from you and me both. So if I can, I could I could do something about it, and I did something about it, and I think that's fair. Some video essays seem to be pushing Nebula more frequently. I haven't heard of Nebula. As a content creator friendly site, more friendly than YouTube anyway. I don't know if it's something that's on your radar or whether it's even an option for you. It might be. Why not? Thank you, mate. I, I've never heard of it. It seems like more of a video essay type platform. Maybe since you do seem interested in deeper discussions, you could maybe weave deeper analysis about the themes of the games you cover. Not sure. I like your reads and your sense of humor is peculiar in a good way to me. I hope you find a way to crack the code or find some of the code that works. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you for the suggestions. Yeah, algorithm pipe, mate. Wish I could smoke it. I think potentially developing a thing for your brand might help. This, uh, yeah, 
this is good. Uh, like Mortezma Gaming has a whole review after 100% thing. I think that's going a long way in setting himself apart from others in the CRPG review space. True. Not sure what uh, Wolfhearts. Not sure what Wolfhearts thing would be, but he very recently gained traction in a similar space to you as well. Hope this is how. I don't know who. The, I really don't know other content creators. I, I don't watch anyone. One of the things why I don't watch other people, especially in the RPG space, is because I want to have my mind clear. Every time I do reviews, every time I do builds, I don't want influence on anyone else. Unless I specifically say that I've seen something from... Uh, that I gain information from another YouTuber, then I give always give credit. Or maybe from a Reddit or a post or somewhere else. Even though I don't have Reddit account. I, I think I do have a Reddit account, but I'm never on Reddit. I, I don't know the last time I checked. I think the last time I checked Reddit was for some issue I had on PC. Nothing related to gaming. But yeah, that's the madman thing I'm going to try to incorporate. Mort also knows how to play the YouTube game very well. Yeah, he does. He's very good at it because he wouldn't be successful otherwise. And he seems to be a pe person that knows what he's talking about. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to retain people. He's never too low on any game. When he doesn't like something, he glances by the fact that he didn't, um, but mostly takes a neutral stance on it, delivering the 100% very professionally. And he doesn't like something, he glances by the fact that he didn't, but mostly takes a neutral stance. Okay, I don't know why or how, but it always seemed like the channels where opinions are very strong, strong like RPG Division or Verglia tend to stay in the basement. I've seen that guy Verglia sometimes, but I don't know really much about him. I know that he played even in the original scene. Oh yeah, I know how I remembered him. He was the guy that was smoking with with wife beater uh, shirt, the one without the sleeves. I think I saw him once on Twitch, some to somewhere. I I don't know. Maybe I think that's the guy. I always thought, damn, why why are you wearing that kind of type of a shirt? And then I started wearing it as well. But I started wearing it because it was so goddamn hot that I had to wear it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stream. So and then I figured, shit, maybe he had the same problem. That's, why should, that's, that's one of the things you should never judge people if you don't have all the information at hand. I agree. I prefer when people tell me how it is, even if I don't agree with their takes. I do not agree with this take on the video. I sympathize with him, but YouTube is not doing this because they don't like him or they are intent on destroying this channel. Their AI algorithm is working exactly as intended. He makes guides on many different games. We as watchers do not click on most of them as we may not be interested in the games or are, uh, or are not playing it currently. Exactly same thing that was before, mate. Nothing changed in that regard. YouTube will attempt to show a couple of his videos if we do not click on them and they will show us videos from different channels we are subscribed to. I'm sub to 30, 40 channels. I'm sure most people are and there is only so many videos YouTube can showcase to us. True, that's all true. Uh, but YouTube is not intent on destroying my channel. I've never said that. I just said that YouTube destroyed this channel, whether it is through their technical issues, whether through shadow banning, which is a direct cause which is more of a personal cause but i don't know how sh i don't know if that's really true i can't know there are reasons why and those reasons are not my content that's the problem so i'm trying to figure out right yeah every tuber thinks there's some kind of conspiracy theory against them when in reality it's literally an algorithm it's not a person target yeah but how is the uh, how is the algorithm working that's the question i'm asking you why you can see how the algorithm is working i've read previous comments that's the type of an algorithm you want uh the way i think youtube work is this they invest channels based on growth if your channel reaches a plateau youtube pretty much decides it's worth more to them investing in someone that is growing faster even if the channel is smaller but that's that's not fair that's not fair treatment rather than a channel that seemed to have reached the wall. And there is saying this even extends to subscribe channels. They will prioritize some instead of others. But why is that a good thing? It's a good thing for them, maybe, because they can put uh, put ads on the faster growing channels. But look at this. They can put ads anywhere. So if they promote let it my video or a faster growing channel video or someone else's that's in mediocre state, doesn't matter. They will promote the, that type of video. So in the end, they will get the same result. But the difference in the algorithm and what the algorithm wants is the problem of this whole story. 
Do you, do you see the difference there? They can do that with any channel, but they choose certain channels. All of that said, regardless of growth, because you can't grow if YouTube doesn't uh, give you a chance to grow. I can't grow based on nothing. You got to be exposed somewhere to be able to grow, which I was a long time for a reason. And now I'm not. So they switched to someone else, as you said, reached the but that's not a fair way of doing things. It just gives me more ammunition to fire at them. Start searching more and more about American football and about gaming. There's absolutely no chance to get even more Tismar equivalent to Milan RPG division, and it doesn't take much. If you watch 10 videos about the subject and stop searching about another, it will completely transform my recommendations. True. Absolutely true, mate. That's also part of the problem. One of the reasons is that people behind these channels are not native English speakers. Uh, I don't really agree there. Uh, maybe it is, I don't know, maybe it is. I'm sorry to learn if your channel has problems with reduced number of views. I'm no YouTube algorithm expert and I can't really offer any advice. From watching other channels, begging for comments, subs and likes, it does seem any kind of user engagement is critical for a channel's success. It has become, unfortunately, there's the change in the algorithm. And that's also not a fair change. Success because oh, oh now I now it dawned on me why engagement why they want engagement mm, I don't want to get into it but now it dawned on me why part of the <laughs> fucking bastards all right we can talk about it on streams if you remember this point of the video success being included in search results so if for some reason youtube decides to not include the channel in search results it must be because their algorithms foresee a lack of generated revenue from views i hope your channel survives and you find a way to increase views again and influence youtube algorithms to include your videos in search results again i don't want to play an algorithm game fucking hell man i hate that shit but it is what it is Because now I've realized that there's a lot of things showing on my um, YouTube. But it's fine, I don't care. On my browser. <laughs> Just, yeah, look at this. Ply on press server. Sucks. Never gave me anything. This guy, these guys have Rainmaker. Uh, dashboard Capcom. Pointless. Although after what I did, what I did say about them in Dragon's Dogma. And this is some AI I'm using for kids and stuff. And maybe sometimes for uh, for thumbnails. Anyway, let's get to it. But I just noticed some things. But thank you. Uh, thank you, mate. Well, that was certainly enlightening and I appreciate the detailed info. Overall, this sucks. There are many channels getting shadow banned by YouTube these days and many don't know why. But it's most certainly mostly those who slightly lean right of center with any type of commentary. I'm guessing you said something around with suggest one of the videos that triggered the algorithm that initiated their force downward spiral in any attempt to memory hold your channel. For what it's worth, I too wasn't getting proper notifications when I just happened to stumble across that one video where you stay where you stated you weren't going to be able to cover like Mint Wukong. That's when I realized I hadn't seen anything from him in quite some time. By the way, I think this is the person that, that gifted me the game. So thank you very much, if that is the case. Now here's the thing about this. This part here is something that people need to understand about politics of today. This was the case all the time, but it has never been as prominent as today. Today you can't say anything without being political. Any opinion is political. This is not because we are political and that we have an ideology that we are running for or that we want. No. If I have an ideology, my ideology is fair, but all right. So what happens? What happened with the, poli with the politicians? Be it left, right, up and down, center, whatever. They have started taking every single topic under their wing so that you can't say anything anymore without, be without it being politicized. That initiates more drama. That initiates also more engagement. That initiates emotional responses. And emotional people are the easiest people to control by far. And that's how they recruit things. That's how they recruit people. They take every single topic. Last 10 years, I've, I've watched how they've switched things that they were doing. So what they were doing is very smart. 
whatever new topic pops up, whatever is the current popular thing, they need to take a stance and they take a stance and they immediately by taking the stance, they gain people because people like to be in tribes and people don't like to think, a lot of people don't like to think for themselves. So they like to be led. And that's how they gain influence. They can, That's how they gain power. That's how they get money. And that's how they get chairs in the, I don't know, Senate or Parliament or whatever. That's how they gain the power. That's how, retain, how they retain the power. And then, then they do the typical thing. They shit on the opposition. Because the opposition has another idea on the same topic. And that's how they divide people. That's how people cannot unite and take these fuckers all out of their seats. But then again, it would it would it would it would, it would be it would be the same thing if we manage to do something and take them all out, get rid of them, and get rid of this fucking insanely unfair world, and bring in the fair one because the, we can't. Human psychology w- would crumble eventually, and uh, and there would be same thing would happen. Same thing. People can't handle power. Power just drives more greed than drives drives uh uh what was the word what's the word drives towards more power. That's it. Power and money goes goes uh in hand and when you reach those things you don't want to lose them and when you when you don't want to lose them you will do everything to retain them and when you do everything when you'll do everything to retain them then people hurt there is no way anyone can profit from something without the other person losing something that's what profit means but anyway just survive me make sure you survive i will no worries i'll see you when i see you don't play games much this is but a bold man calling me a bastard was a fun memory i'll never forget <laughs> thanks <laughs> Hey, but that's some rough stuff. All that work over the years and good, great work too. And it's come to this. That's a gut punch. I don't know if anything I can say will be benefit by appreciate the content and respect the work what you've done. So here goes. First, my use case. I might be anomaly and not pertinent to those things that have impacted your income. By that me, oh no, not a single viewer can impact the income of a channel unless they donate there. But that's not based on YouTube. That's based on off of YouTube things. By that I mean that although I watch a ton of YouTube across many genres topics i get to most videos by one of two ways homepage mostly a mix of recent content from channels i subscribe to and videos related to other videos i watch as a result of specific searches manually reviewing recent uploads from the channels i subscribe to in other words my consumption has nothing to do with notifications now on to my comments i remember that video did read uh, Redisabling subscriptions. I'm a US citizen and I love my country, so it hit me a bit, of course. But by then, I had watched enough of your content to have respect for your opinion. Thank you, man. And I could see that it's reasonable for the rest of the world to see my country differently than I do. Even on topics about which I know something and I didn't know jack crap about that topic. Uh, mate, the different differentiate between the government and uh, and the country. I love Croatia as a country. I hate Croatia, Croatia's governmental bodies bunch of mafia running things transparently they don't even give a shit and i have a serious well uh, serious thoughts about g- u.s government but let's leave it be uh you were however i got the impression that in this video you were linking that video to the onset of a decline in income yeah, yeah, because they implemented the double tax. That's when they implemented the taxation. Not, it wasn't uh, the consequence of that video. It was the consequence of you doing, doing that thing, changing that type of uh, that type of economical law. Economic law. I don't know how to phrase this. So that everyone outside of America needs to pay the tax. If you are in luck. And your country has the treaty with United States in terms of taxation, then you might get a better deal. But <laughs> Croatia, I mean, <laughs> we don't have that. It's, it's funny to even think about it. But maybe eventually it will. I think that our fucking scumbag went into the Amer went to USA now to to arrange just that. So I don't know, man. What? what is gonna he have to give in return is the question what the hell do we have more we've sold everything but anyway 
Uh, if you believe that the two are linked, then there is a suggestion which will likely get under your skin motivated to spew curses in various languages. <laughs> Tone down the rhetoric a notch or two. You could have said what you had to say, but less if any far. Uh, impossible. Impossible when, when they do that type of an unfair thing uh, to people that, that need to pay double, t that someone that needs to pay double taxes. Look at this. I'm going to give you the whole situation. So you tell me if... I didn't have enough fire in that video, if anything else. YouTube first takes 45% of your channel. That's what that's the terms of service. You can't get away with it. Fine, no problem. Then 30%. Uh 30% on subscriptions, oh sorry, on memberships and super chats. And then 5% fee, something like that. Now America comes in, changes the law to tax YouTube. And now suddenly everyone outside of US that doesn't isn't physically in the US needs to pay tax for US views. What? That's criminal. That's criminal. That's not legitimate what they're doing. But they can do whatever the fuck they want. That's the problem I have with it. So yeah, that type of a thing should never be accepted. I don't give a crap if you like if you love your country, if you love whoever you love, if you love your government that type of thing should never happen double taxation is a crime i don't care what anyone thinks about that that is a crime what else what are you going to work for everyone else but yourself what are we talking about here and not get anything anything in return i should pay taxes to america and not get anything anything in return i don't get their benefits i don't get your benefits at all i don't get the, the pension i don't get any any sort of health benefits from there i can't even step in in america because then i would be text text differently even worse if i did that so to pay taxes you gotta get something uh, something back you know especially 30 fucking percent are you kidding me I'm guessing it goes deeper than a brand, it's how you live. I have respect for it, but based on my own experiences over the years, I'm an old guy, that kind of approach can be challenging professionally and personally. We pay a price for it. I agree. You are absolutely right about that, mate. Absolutely right about that. But look, I don't know how to be anyone else. I said I've lost a lot of subs that can't, don't like to hear anything uh, direct. But I can't be a non-direct person because even my reviews are direct but direct in a fair way. But thank you, man, for the comment. But please, don't don't think that uh, I don't hate America. I, uh, I, don't, I, hate, I, I hate their government. Absolutely. Page and external support. I get why you find the concept of policy, especially since you were previously able to generate sufficient income without it. Yeah, I, the sufficient income was just a normal income. It wasn't something. I would, it was just an average pay here in Croatia. That I'm all right with that. I don't need more than that. I get it, but it's irrational. We provide valuable service to your viewers. Thank you. My donations to your patron aren't mercy, as I think you call it in your video. I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what to say. As I, as I don't call any of you fans, I can't. It's not a thing I like. I, it's not a thing that it's realistic. So I, it's just mercy. As thing. It's help. I, I don't know. As I think you call it in your video, but paying you, uh, paying you for a valuable service. Thank you, man. I appreciate that a lot. But YouTube is the one that you should be paying because it's their platform that I'm working on. It's their platform that w gets money off of me. I think that I asked you, actually, that, take, that takes 45% off of me. So, you know, on the other hand, the ironic part of why I like your videos and I'm willing to pay for your content is because of your raw and without reach around style. So tinkering with that might be counterproductive. Also, good point. I think that I asked you during a recent stream how, how I could identify you on Steam so that I provide you with game keys or without the hell they are or what the hell they're called. I don't know what this means. Without? Never knew these these things. I know the W is with, but W E. I can't recall if you answered and might have had to leave anymore. Oh yeah, I've answered that. By the way, my, my Steam is... Um, let me see what my Steam account is. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. This is my Steam account. Look, the games I would like... <laughs> also, I would have to ask. And I, I'm, I'm a person that do, doesn't like to ask things. Because I don't like to pull people... Pull people's sleeves. Oh, can you help me? Can you? Do? I fucking hate that shit, man. But sometimes you have to... 
So yeah, eventually I can contact you through the Patreon and send you a game that I would like to cover on the channel. I really appreciate what you would do and what you that you're on a Patreon mate, but I don't want to be any kind of a game. I want to be a game that can be covered so that I can give back. If I just go for the game that I want to cover that I just want to play myself, I would never ask money for that. Never. I wouldn't even ask money for this. But people have decided to gift me something that I haven't asked. Thank you for that. I really I can't believe that you would do that. Like Black Meat Wukong, never asked for it. I just said that I don't have the money, I can't cover it. There, there it is. So, uh, I can contact you with specific games that I would like to cover. That's all I can say. Maybe Stalker 2, for example. Maybe that. I don't think I will be able to get the key for it. So, maybe that would be the first game that I can that I can think of. But I'll let you know if that's alright. If that's alright with you. Considering uh, adding a key that you might not generate related content, your fans, your fans trust your judgment. If it's given a caveat, sorry, caveat. <laughs> if it's given, your fans trust your judgment. If it's given to you and you judge it unworthy of interest, then we'd rather you move on to something you find compelling. One thing I really like about your com you, con content, you don't overhype products. Yeah, that, that's the fair part of it. But I appreciate you recognizing that, which seems to be a rapidly accelerating trend on YouTube. Across many genres, I have followed a couple of Jeep of Roddy channels for years and supported one of them financially, but recently I subscribed to both. Both have lost their way and have become product pushers. I have noticed that several smaller channels in that genre are pushing products that they receive for free. But of course, their opinions are their own and not influenced by manufacturers, publishers. Okay, let me just... Um, stop you there i don't know how other people work i can't say that i can't say anything about it but how i work i have a promotion that i'm currently working on for guild saga vanished worlds and really a good game i think i might cover it fully it's not going to get me any views but i'm not going to get any views anyway whatever i do but i really like the game some something divinity original sin combined in jrpg setting very nice very very cool game but it can be improved a lot with quality of life stuff so I've done a lot of promotions, well, not a lot of promotions, not as much as I would like, but I've done promotions, for example, I've even done promotions for Age Shadow Legends on the channel. But I never really gave an opinion about the game, because I know that I just went and over doing an overview, if someone wants, someone doesn't, that's it. It's not a game that, honestly, for those types of uh, promotions, I know two things. My people won't be interested in that type of a game anyway, so I'm basically stealing their money. For something like, like Raid Shadow Legends, not Guild Saga. That's a different story. I think people would, would really like that game. And I'm going to cover it at least through review. So uh, that's the difference. Then, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm basically taking their money for those types of things. Because fuck them. <laughs> if they, I need the money. I will, I will take your game that generates ton of money tons of money anyway and just go give an overview video if someone clicks on it good if someone not, it's fine no no sweat how do they say no sweat of my back it's not a problem not, not a problem for me i i don't mind pushing that but I, I will never say that this game is fantastic if i don't think it's fantastic i will never say that the game is good doesn't matter what kind of promotion it is so the opinion is my own i'm never i have been, never been influenced once in my life when it comes to the promotions i say also to the publishers that want me to cover some of the games uh through paid promotion that i will retain my opinion and usually if a game isn't particularly good i have i don't have many things good to say about it i will stick to overview and i will do some kind of a first impression video but not go deep into it that much but mostly stick with an overview video or maybe gameplay with commentary or something like that. That's fair. That's not me shitting on a game. That's not me giving them bad publicity. But it's me still being fair in terms of not saying that the game is fantastic. Because I, I've never said that in a game that I was given money for. Anyway, to sum up, if you're going to continue producing the same quantity and quality... Uh, wait, wait, sorry. I've noticed several smaller channels in the genre. Numerous channels in the other genres are pushing products that they receive for free. Yeah, didn't, ha didn't get a single one. But of course, their opinions are their own and not influenced by manufacturer publishers. Uh, sorry, I have received for free keys, but not products. 
like chairs, microphones, nothing like that. I wonder if they've experienced the same income draft, draft and I have chosen and have chosen to shift to affiliate marketing to make up the difference. Maybe, really, maybe. Maybe they have, I, I don't know. But there's a lot of options for affiliates and things like that. But I think that's just most of the things that I read about affiliates and trying to understand uh, how to make money off of it through some websites that offer game keys. Uh, it's not a good way, but if someone can do it, great. You lose more than you gain, you lose time. Anyway, to sum up, if you're going to continue producing the same content in quality of content, in the words of the boss, <laughs> you gotta learn to live with what you can't rise above the boss metal gear 4 right and this video was a no metal gear 3 and this video was a step in that direction hopefully some of us will have some useful suggestions keep us posted amigo and good luck thank you mate really appreciate the comment and i really appreciate a lot of you spending so much time writing this comment i know how long that takes that takes I have been in YouTube for 15 years, even though I have never been a popular channel, I've regularly uploaded through the years. A few years back, I noticed my views tanked, and a few months back, I received an email saying that due to my channel not having enough history, that they removed some features on my account. 15 years isn't enough history to them. Fuck YouTube. Depressing. You're not in my subscribe feed at all. I've also noted this shady thing, shady thing that YouTube's doing where I'm getting subscribed to random channels. Or is that just me? I don't think that's all new. Damn comrade, that blows to build a channel so big and not get recognition for that and for platform to hide your content. Sucks. My best guess is that you're Russian or at least sound Russian. I've heard from others that they can't get that revenue from YouTube because of this. I'm not Russian. I don't have anything to do with Russia. People think I sound Russian. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I sound me. I'm Balkan. I'm from Balkan. Balkan people tend to sound sometimes like Russians a little bit. Mate, nothing to, to forgive. A lot of people think I'm Russians. Oh, good. Same like I do. <laughs> anyway, it was a long time since when I got the last notification for one of your videos. Kind of paradox, but luckily I got one for this video. I suspected that people might get for this video. I always enjoyed your honest take on games. Love the no bullshit attitude. I just hit the bell, which I normally never do. I hope, thank you. I hope you can make it as you spend such a great effort into it. And yes, your videos did not show up in my YouTube search. I just noticed something. I went into your Twitter videos and saw that you don't use any hashtags. As you mentioned, that YouTube search hits are so low. Not sure if they affect the algorithm or not, but you might try them out. Not a bad idea. And see if something changes after adding them to your already existing or new videos. Adding them to the existing videos won't do much because existing videos depend on the current popularity of a certain older game or maybe the DLC came out or something maybe an older game becomes popular just now so it's it's not a metric that you can rely on uh, in regards to space marines mukong and elderic dlc in my honest opinion in my honest opinion it feels like it's just too saturated got flooded with videos from so many channels in comparison to three years ago i know this doesn't help actually it does i myself use the not recommend button a lot at least i don't have to see asmund's silly face again <laughs> well asmund seems to be a decent dude I've watched maybe two of his clips, it, it just showed me, a lot of people talked about him in the Discord lately, so I kind of watched just to see what it's about, and it seems like a decent dude, as I can't stand most of the videos YouTube recommends these days, especially gaming, just fancy editing with no message at all, only wasting my precious time. I sometimes get really good science and documentary video recommendations though. Yeah, there are great things on YouTube that you can watch, really great stuff, if you can find it. Saturated content, definitely. But even year two years ago, I'd say that wasn't an issue. I was at least somewhere, you know. That, that's the, the big. That's the big thing. That's the big difference. Why? Why am I wearing glasses now? Actually, I was wearing it in the first part anyway. So yeah, I don't know what to tell you there, mate. I'm trying to decipher that myself, but um, it is what it is. Yours is one one of the best channels for in-depth guides and honest reviews. I don't think that it is, but thank you, I appreciate it. The fact that algorithm isn't push you when you have stuff out at game release covered for a decent bit in depth and don't have anything but games, no politics or clickbait. It's brain that yours isn't one of the top push channels for gaming and recommended. Yeah, I do cover politics now, but mainly politics in games that shouldn't be there. Right, but only through these types of videos. Even in reviews, I do mention it a bit, but it's, it isn't a focus. In some games it is, in some it isn't. 
Maybe it's the channel name, but I don't know, but you've been around for a good while, so if it was the issue, it would it would it would hit sooner during various ad apocalypses. YouTube on the whole is starting to wither, it seems, for video content focusing more on pushing to be a Twitch rival. Uh, it seems for a video content focusing more on pushing to be a Twitch rival and wanting people to stream more and more. I, that doesn't make much sense because if you stream and leave the streaming in, then it hurts your channel. I, I just don't know. That That's the frustrating thing about all this. It's a dumb move as right now they need to clean their, shut up, their, their site up. I agree that they need to really do something because this isn't working. We have people reposting whole in theaters, movies to shorts and shorts of people's content as well with nothing transformative. It's straight re -upload. It's crazy how bad this platform is getting. Yeah, yeah. I'm subscribed to your channel for at last four years. You know what? Only today I have learned that you have guides on your channel. <laughs> Maybe because you haven't look, been looking for them. I've, been, I've started doing reviews for years. But interesting, interesting to know. I look up guides for games from time to time. Not a single guide for me, even though I'm subscribed. Usually guides are doing well, meaning at least the older ones. So I can't really bitch and moan about the guides. Unless we're talking about last year and this year. Except Baldur's Gate 3. I'm curious as to why your videos don't show up a lot of times on a subscription suite. Probably because, uh, as someone had said, I cover a lot of things and then when you're not interested, then it... Um, if you don't watch them, then it... Then it doesn't recommend as much anymore. I don't know, maybe that's also the case, but that's also not fair, right? That's not fair on the viewer as well. I mean... Why can't you skip some videos? That that should be fine. It always was fine before. It shows up maybe once every two or three months, which is irritating. Is there any way we can help or anything can be done or other than turning on notifications? Nothing, mate. Really, I don't know what to tell you. Nothing. In terms of algorithm, it does nothing. Thank you, Jordan. I will cover Rogue Trader as soon as I'm done with this promotion. I've been in YouTube for maybe 17 years now, all the way from 2007. I'm a, I have a master on 700 and uh, subscribers. And my videos today don't do much better than yours. I feel you. Not sure what to do either. This isn't my day job and I enjoy making videos. So I intend to keep on doing so. But it's certainly an unfortunate turn of events. Just want to say our channel and sell are both great in my opinion. And I appreciate the videos you make. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I've seen your comments, man. Gold. Your comments have been um, um, emphasized in on my dashboard. It seems now I know why. Because you have 750,000 subs. Great job, by the way, for reaching that. Uh, I don't stream on Twitch and YouTube because i can't reach people on twitch i've i've streamed on twitch before and i'm not gonna do it again i just i'm not gonna stream for one person sometimes even on youtube there's one or two people and that's it so i'm not gonna do that it's depressing to be honest all right let's see yeah i'll tell you the bitter truth your channel might never bounce back might be. I've got a few reasons. Even Dr. Disrespect said this long ago that as soon as he switches to a different game than the usual FPS like Fortnite, Code, PUBG, Valorant, his viewership drops tremendously. So he is forced to play those trashy games that he doesn't even like. But I play the games that I like and I play the games that are in the same sphere for the most part. RPGs, right? Something occasionally I switch to another game, but that's really it. I feel like there's a huge drop in adult gamers. I have around 200 friends on Steam from different games and used to have 60, 70 in line at a time with 30, at a time with 30 guys in game playing with something back 2018. Now today I see only 5, 7 in line with barely 1, 2 guys playing a game. I don't know what happened, man. Damn, that, that's a... That's a good statement. YouTube is suffering from content saturation. There are so many creators doing all sorts of videos. So I think YouTube mostly recommends the best channels from each genre, movies, games, vlogs, etc or that you are absolutely right about this there's oversaturation of content but however i don't know how you can metrically measure this best channels for what how can you say that something is a best channel you know that's very diff different topic because how do you say someone is at the best at what they do i don't even know who the best is at crpgs doing reviews and guides and so on who is there's no such thing you're gonna like 
things from one person more than you're gonna from the other or it, sometimes you're gonna like more from the other less from the first one it's a little difficult to rate to to put that into a metric but i guess that the best means the best for youtube but again the best for youtube can be anything at that given moment as uh, whatever they choose to promote they will there will be ads on it there will be viewership on it there will, there will be something on it because they've chosen to promote the type of content but maybe drama content is easier to promote because then the drama content is uh, going to get more engagement by default there's something like a guide so i don't know out of the last 300 videos you showed i wasn't interested to watch a single one of them i don't know why but that's the truth no problem mate that, that's not a problem as well as i said my viewership is very diverse and demographically in terms of what they view that's, that's not an issue it was never an issue before i'm sorry to see this happen i've seen this happen in channels having 1 million plus subs too when algorithm was kind to them they blew up now they're back to nothing even with all those subs yeah that is fucking depressing all to youtube is too saturated now so i can't recommend everyone's video to everyone hopefully you find something better in life belt thank you mate i appreciate this comment a lot this is the sad truth good response but do this but i think mostly recommends the best channels having over 90 percent like creation his videos should definitely qualify his content as best if not close to it i know why i have stopped watching his videos and makes doubly and it makes me makes doubly sad games aren't as good as say five years ago all right that's that's an interesting interesting point uh the very original scene too that far pathfinder king maker making make your pathfinder right to the righteous these are all rpg absolute gems can you name a genre defining game from the last two years i could say rogue trader because rogue trader to me honestly might be one of the best out of all of these i understand that's a kind of um that's a kind of very subjective opinion but rogue trader when fixed i don't know the state of it but i will know the state of it very soon and i will do an update on that is a very specific CRPG. I haven't played something like that in a long time. It's just so much fun to play. But fun is subjective. Some people will not find it fun. I understand. But for me, I find difficult to find such fun CRPG. I love playing CRPGs. I love turn-based combat. I love real time with post combat. I love every type of combat. That that is good, right? I don't care. But there was something special about that combat. The turn-based combat was something else and the writing was holy shit. Now it did fall off uh, during the late part of the game. But so did even the original scene, writing. So did Pat, so did Dead Fire. Most RPGs can't handle that. Baldur's Gate 3, however, did not fall off as far as I know. I think they've done a brilliant job with the last chapter, considering they've managed to create a city full of content that's also full of fighting, full of so many things. I like that. And second, my PC just can't run Baldur's Gate 3, therefore I have no interest, no attachment to this game's build. Same for Elden Ring. Awesome. Thank you for the comment. So sorry, going through this especially taxation bullshit. I had a thought that might or might not, might not align with your analysis. You seem to cover mostly AA or AAA titles. The competition is very significant in that space. You are correct. Check out creators like Splattercat Gaming who managed to carve a kind of niche by focusing on indie titles. I'm not necessarily saying you have to copy the same formula, but finding a niche in terms of the stuff you're covering is important. You are right. That's a good comment, but I, I cover RPGs. I cover the games also I want to cover. I'm 37 years old at this point and I don't want to force myself covering every possible game anymore like before. But I will mostly focus on AA titles as I did. AAA, I'm not cover covering as much. Space Marine 2 and Black Myth Wukong are a separate thing and I didn't even cover Black Myth Wukong. If I had it on the release date, I would cover it, but I didn't. So I just went through streams and that's it. A wonderful game, by the way. Both so uh this is a good comment i agree with this but going into the indie world is also a different different animal there's a lot of content creators there there's a lot of content creators everywhere mine i think my niche are actually double a games this is what got me popular i mean popular you know in terms of guides and things like that and this is something I will always strive to cover. CRPGs being the most prominent. 
I'm so bad after receiving any notification about you, but this one arrived. YouTube domain, this scenario, and well, this is the capitalism. Powerful companies will swallow the little ones, then they will make they will take everything from the workers and get the maximum profit possible. And yes, giving the minimum to the content creators. True. I took 40 years to understand it. For the working class capitalism, a mixture of sadness and rage. That is true. The search engines for Google and YouTube have become completely and utterly trash as well. They just don't give you what you're actually looking for anymore. That is also true. Get a job, go fuck yourself. It's uh, horrible the channels can't make the content they want. We are going to end up with everyone doing the same types of content. Everyone is fighting over views like steaks thrown in the dog kennel. I'm sorry, but the world is fucking crazy right now. Yeah, you also true. True, true, never receive you to be like, I don't even know who you are, Thanos. <laughs> Sorry to hear this, man. Your channel was very helpful to me from Neo 1 and 2 days. I, I, I'm glad to hear that I was helpful, mate. I have not seen one of your videos on my subscription tab in recent memory. I only found this as it was in suggested videos, which I suspect happened as I have watched other creators' videos with the same apparent suppression. Okay, interesting to know. I have been subscribed to you for a few years, years and the last couple of them I rarely get notifications from your channel and a few times it's in my home feed. Thank you to forcing out content creators. Thanks for the input. A lot of people saying that uh, YouTube, imagine how many people don't have don't have anything out of the 80,000. YouTube forcing out content creators like my, yeah, like yourself living nothing but solid drivel of no value whatsoever sounds like the last decade of entertainment. The algorithm is clearly manipulated to favor steaming garbage over quality content. True. But there are a lot of quality YouTubers that, that are successful. For example, Mortismal. I'm guessing he's got a quality content. Uh, YouTube is a business. If you aren't advertising friendly, that's a you problem. Free speech was never part of the deal. Pretending otherwise is dishonest. Seems like you shot yourself in the foot and are looking to blame everyone else but yourself. Man up and take responsibility for your actions. If you want free speech, then you don't want YouTube. YouTube was free speech. So this never part of the deal is wrong. YouTube never focused on uh, on politics, which it started doing since 2016-17, if I'm not mistaken. And advertising friendly, you want to see my mon? Did you did you not see that uh, that uh, I monetized every video? Every single video of mine is almost monetized out of 3,300. So I am advertiser friendly. It seems like you shot yourself in the foot and looking to blame everyone else but yourself. I was doing reviews and talking about things a couple years ago too, but mostly more I've started talking this year and the last year. But then it was alright, now it isn't anymore. Man up and take responsibility. What did I do by doing this video? But man up and took responsibility. But YouTube wants to needs to take responsibility also on their own there, because there are a lot of the problems that I make might be technical issues that are on YouTube's side, not mine. So free speech was on YouTube just because it isn't anymore. You should look into that more. Look, this um, that's fine. I, I I like that comment. Let's help him out by liking videos and leaving comments. Hopefully, it pushes him a bit to a larger audience. Unfortunately, uh, that's the problem that I said that if you can't reach the subs, they can't push your video first, and then it won't get where it needs to. So the problem is that I also don't push, I don't, I never tell people subscribe, like, whatever. I tell about the Patreon and there is, that there's a link in the description to Patreon, subscribe, start now merch also and things like that because people wouldn't know otherwise. But leaving comments and liking videos, I never say that. Leave, like, leave a comment, subscribe, I fucking hate that shit. I never want to annoy my audience with it, that's why I never put uh, skippable ads, no, pardon me, non-skippable ads in videos, because I don't want to annoy my viewers. I want them to get to the video, get the information they want, maybe if they want to watch a review or something else, get that info, maybe learn something, maybe participate in the discussion, maybe teach me something, and get the hell out. That's it, that's what I want. I don't want, to, want you to linger on, to have to watch unnecessary things. YouTube execs and moderators have addresses. Oh no, don't, don't, don't call for that. <laughs> don't call for that. Your channel never comes up on my feed ever, despite notifications and channels. I mean, occasionally, he just have to search your channel to catch up to you, you, you YouTube band bastard. <laughs> YouTube. Band. Mm. 
uh, I'm profit speech and allow all topics. That is true. We free thinkers discuss controversial things. Exactly. That's what free. That's what free thinking is. I've never viewed the live stream of yours, but more often than not, people who say things like that are discussing the most horrendous shit possible. And what in your world view or your opinion is the horrendous shit? Most of those people don't actually give a crap about free speech. It's cover to let them influence young and vulnerable people to believe in their garbage. Uh, who am I influencing? I'm influencing for quality of games uh, to help people maybe if they are having issues in life through my experiences. I'm not saying anyone do anything except pre-order. Don't ever pre-order. That I will tell you. Listen, don't listen. But pre-ordering never helps anything. So yeah, you're making an assumption of how I function based on not watching a, a single live stream. So your comment is void isn't based on anything at least not anything connected to me man good luck with your new endeavor sorry to hear about what happened to your channel a couple years ago i tried making some guide videos and got decent views for a beginner but it, it's so time consuming for such a small financial reward i can make much more even as an accountant yeah i'm sure you can mate good that you can that you have the option youtube live or die by the algorithms is that simple if you look at a popular content creators like pewdiepie he has two three million views per video yet he has over a hundred and 11 million subs just go to show his videos not being recommended to 150 uh yeah to most of his subs these are uh, these are channels like elite computer guy and vehicle versions that have been on youtube for 10 plus years with millions of subs and if you look at their views they're barely hitting 10 uh, 10 thousands of views and in eli's case thousands of views i never said this is unique situation to my channel who said that never said that mate but i'm saying that i'm i'm one of the people that has been affected by it which is absolutely true whether to, due to technical issues algorithm uh, shadow banning those are the things we are trying to decipher i feel for enjoy videos long time agree that your video stopped showing in my youtube searches this is probably nothing uh, youtube is doing specifically for your channel as i said it's not i'm not showing your videos either and that is probably because when i have been showing your videos because because i'm subscribed to your channel i do not click on most of them as i'm not playing that game at the moment i'm not interested in the game so no point in watching the guy for it exactly but that's the case that was also before you know nothing changed there youtube does not see it that way they see it as them presenting your videos and i'm not interacting with them so they assume i'm not interested in your videos true i'm sub to 30 40 different channels there is only so much space for youtube to make recommendations yeah true Again, it's AI in a nutshell. It's not so smart to realize the reason I'm not clicking on the reason because it was a game. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a problem with the AI. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. I definitely noticed some gaps in when I get your videos in my sub page. Hang in. I'm not sure if this is true, but I've seen videos from other creators I follow who mentioned that certain words tend to get more exposure from the YouTube rhythm. No idea if that's true or not. Maybe worth investigating? Or maybe? But I don't know. I'm definitely some words bring less exposure, but I don't know about more exposure. Surely hope you can prevail whatever forces you're battling, mate. Thank you, I will. I've commented on your videos prior and always loved your no bullshit attitude and input. So regardless of what the video was centered around, seeing you having to scrape like this after so many years is frankly disturbing. You clearly have a very detailed grasp of all data points analytics provides you with. Be it as it may, I hope I do have. Because I can be wrong about things. I've been wrong about many things before. But about YouTube, I'm rarely wrong. Be it uh, as it may, all I can uh, will do is watch your vids, comment, but it's a perfect click on your vids when I see them. Thank you, mate. Hope others do the same. Maybe the fucking algorithm can be swayed so much. I think it's uh, all about this American election. I'm not an American and I got almost just political videos, mostly something with Kamala. And I'm not so interested in every time it's asking, is this relevant to you? I say no. I'm also a subscriber of a CRPG bro and I don't saw any video from him for the last three months. Jesus Christ. After this election started to blow up and on both of you, I have the bell turned on. I hope after the election it will do better, but this is just my theory and my experience. Maybe, maybe that's also a reason. I will try to change my gender to a woman uh, to see if, uh, if I get the bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have enjoyed your channel and really feel for you, but, uh, for you to be honest I don't comment much if I ever but I understand how much work you put in life can be so tough sometimes I lost a very good job last year and I just got uh, up and found another I live and work in Saudi Arabia now 
and life is good again but it took a long time for of asking for help to get where i am now having hang in there good things come to those that work hard thank you mate for what it's worth i always get your notifications and watch if it's a game i want to play hope you manage manage to juggle life and stick around the youtube is a better place with your content thank you really appreciate it first of all fuck speaking uh your mind in this platform as this is the biggest by far most monitored and censored by those that are easily offended can get into trouble i have felt that your channel is suppressed on my youtube feed i'm a long time sub i know casper i know mate i never you were while well, i was still streaming on twitch i never had the notification bell enabled as i hate annoying blink sounds on my phone but i have no channel in whole youtube to bell on your new videos come to my feed only when i have refreshed youtube a couple of times and been wondering why and instead i get chess videos that i always instantly press to not show at all <laughs> Damn, and to compare, I have watched most of your videos and one chess video in YouTube history. <laughs> Who have you called the bastard CEO of YouTube or the algorithm? <laughs> uh, yeah, show boobs. I don't have boobs. Maybe I should make them. This is the first in ages I saw video of yours on my page. Take care, you bastard. Good luck. Thank you again thank you very much we subscribe to you since the three john see on these days first and this is first time in years i see you in my timeline again not fair man it's not my friend imagine if you're if you're someone new on youtube and trying to grow my channel subs don't matter at all right now except for monetization you're encouraged to create clickbait and drama content true it's not really about the creators it's about the viewers why would someone watch a 30 minutes video about a game if they can watch a 60 seconds tiktok video about some bullshit nobody cares about <coughs> yeah i don't know man TikTok definitely didn't help. Nah, I'm, until I'm certain about the 30% thing, I'm not turning it back on. Yeah, Patreon would be ideal. If I have 1000 people to each donate a dollar on Patreon, I mean, not donate, but have monthly dollar. Fuck it, I'm, I'm sorted. I don't need to worry about it, anything anymore. I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, that that would be kind of a thing. I, but it's also relying on people. And people have already given me a lot. So it would be unfair to push Patreon more than I am. Uh, I would like to point out your content is excellent at all. Thank you, mate. However, I have stopped watching this type of content because I cannot proactively engage and take advantage of everything you teach. The main reason is because in the last three to four years, gaming has to become so prohibitively, prohibitively expensive. There's a second comment about this. I cannot afford my favorite hobby anymore. The consoles are insanely expensive. My gaming PC is 14 years old and I cannot afford a better one. Prices for components are absolutely out of my reach. Same as out of mine. I'm I'm dreading if, if PC breaks then i won't be able to live stream even to have donations open for me to fix the pc because i don't have other way to to gain the money that i would need to replace components on the, of the pc i completely agree with you there newer games require modern graphics and processing power that is simply out of my reach i think there are more people in this situation situation than most youtubers realize i am become i'm becoming more aware of that problem to complicate matters add youtube issues that you explained here and you have a recipe for channel collapse i wish you all the best i hope in time things will improve for you as well as many others of my favorite youtubers thank you mate i don't know kill it on as i said i don't watch but anyway uh i would somewhat disagree with you about it not being the viewer's job to financially support the content creators that they follow uh, in the end, we, what we have here is a producer-consumer relationship. True, but YouTube is a platform that I'm producing a lot on, you know, and the, uh, YouTube is gaining money from me and my work, and they need to pay me as well for my work. So, but I, I, I see your sentiment, but viewers are there to consume. You are a consumer, but you're, you shouldn't be a donor, you know, to, to have to help out the channel so they can survive on something. Uh, YouTube is probably closest to TV model in this, but YouTube ads are more intrusive and annoying than TV ads ever were. Yeah. So ad revenue has gone down for all content creators. Well, ad revenue is not a problem for me. Ad revenue is fine. When it comes to RPM, CPM and so on, it's all fine. Uh, in that regard, I don't have a problem that much. 
What remains for the content creators, but maybe that's a tr that's true for a lot of other creators. For what remains for the content creators is that then just what you're doing, seek other means of revenue for viewers to support you. Because in the end, it is the consumer's job to fund those who create what they want. I see your point, but but YouTube is already paying me and taking it away from me that same money you know 45 percent goes to youtube 55 percent goes to me so it's on them really to pay me they are the company i am working for even though i'm on freelancer and i have no benefits from working on youtube except the benefit to be able to work on youtube which everyone can it would however be youtube's job to make that as easy as possible for the viewers also make it work for the creators and youtube totally fails here you are not the first to point that out and the double taxation is just awful yeah it is mate it's fucking it, you lose uh, you lose the will to 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 push this because it's forty five percent double taxation take this take there to, for who in the end are you working for for fuck's sake everyone else but yourself I think that we will see happening a lot of smaller channels disappearing and only those surviving who can somehow motivate enough of their followers to chip in which is a tough job yeah I hope that it doesn't come to that because I really don't want to keep pulling sleeves of people which is a tough job because at this point those with disposable incomes have been used to just watching stuff for free for 10 plus years i do not envy you but i will get a nice shirt and throw some money at the subscriber thank you mate appreciate it yeah hopefully i'm gonna get one shirt now for free and uh, do do a screenshot image on community so that uh, people can see I'd recommend adding something like coffee for those who shy away from subscriptions and just want to throw some money your way as a one-time thing. Usually that's what Super Chats would be for. Okay, that's not a bad suggestion, but not a bad suggestion. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I'm a sub and it's been a long time. I've seen your videos come up naturally. I have to go to the channel. I've heard vaguely that long streams can thank your channel as engagement. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all the comments. It's a long video but i hope i was fair enough if i wasn't if you don't think that was fair it is what it is if you problem is that you can't talk about certain topics without being offended without being offensive or without someone being offended especially when it comes to politics it's impossible why i'll explain in short and then we'll conclude the video any sort of thing that you are attached to is emotional be it your your spouse your religion your ideology your political party your products that you're using uh, be it genre that you're playing it's an emotional attachment because it's a preference there's a preference there right i'm trying to get away from the preferences and I, if i have a preference or lack of a preference i tend to put it out so that people know like i did diablo 4 review i said i hate this genre but i'm gonna do the fairy as fair review as i can for this game and I did it. It can be done. So when you start to challenge people, when I say that hack and slash action RPG genre like Diablo and Diablo's games are one of the worst genres in gaming in terms of quality, people that are that have such genre as a preference are gonna be slightly offended by it because it's gonna touch them, touch their nerves. The the thing that I've said. But when you start to dissect that genre as a whole, the content of it, it's really weak. Same like MMORPGs. MMORPGs have some of the worst content outside of raids and dungeons. Outside of that, most MMORPGs are absolute trash. I mean, little trash that no one would touch. And that's being f objective as much as possible. But even in objectivity, there's a little bit of subjectivity. So... Uh, it means that it's gonna touch you at times, but that doesn't mean that I'm not being tactful. Maybe I'm not, but I'm not attacking anyone here. I'm simply entering a discussion. If you wanna enter a discussion about something and make progress, it's inevitable that someone is going to be offended. Sometimes I'm also offended by some of the comments. Get a job, that type of, type of stupid shit drives me nuts because I'm emotionally also attached to my job. But I can objectively, objecti uh, objectively dismantle that argument, get a job. Because it's not an argument. They have nothing behind that statement. So, there you go. I hope that 
<clears throat> I hope that kind of explains things a little bit more. Thank you very much if you watched throughout this whole video, but I love this this type of communication. I've learned a lot. Thank you. Some things will change. Let me know about the Madman uh, review or Madman takes or something like that in, in form of a Madman to create my brand around it and then create a special logo about it for the reviews and so on. Thank you all. Every, you guys are amazing when it comes to supporting this channel. I don't know what, I don't deserve that, but fuck man, thank you. Thank you very much and stay tuned. A lot of stuff coming. I'm not going anywhere.